Well, hello there, guys. Welcome to our World War II Operation Sea Lion stream. We actually started this campaign um, a while back, but um, I guess that we are starting it again here. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look here. Um, so welcome, guys. Um, let's see if we can't defend the UK from a massive German invasion. Uh, another interesting thing about this particular mission is we have to kill at least 40 enemy units. That's actually quite a tough... Uh, thing to do. So we've got the British Home Guard here, uh, essentially defending the beaches. First thing I want to do is obviously get them into these buildings so that they can actually be effective. I'm not sure how effective they're going to be from right here. So let's push them up there. Right now they're in one of those frontal buildings. Um, I'd like actually like to get some Vickers guns here, but we actually have a few Bren guns, etc. Um, so let me try to just get the infantry and a British sticky bomb. Ooh, just in case the enemy sends any tanks. I don't see any right now, but that could certainly occur. We'll also go ahead and move this guy up there. More units from the British Home Guard here to defend the beautiful mainland. Now we have to hold at least um, four, four victory points. So let's take a look here. Pretty much means that we can stand to lose just two of these right here on the frontal assault wave. Yeah, not easy, man. We also have additional um, vehicles over here, or uh, just single vehicles. We've got the Bofors, well, nice Bofors in case they attack us with any uh, air units, but I'm thinking we could actually use the Bofors to attack their infantry, so let's move it forward. I mean, it is a heavy weapon. It should be able, heavy machine gun, it should be able to do a pretty good job, and I'm actually going to send the British Home Guard forward here as well. Um, we have a Drill Sergeant. What's this? So I haven't used the Drill Sergeant yet. Is this just an additional unit? We'll go ahead and use the Drill Sergeant ability. Provide advanced training, understood. So this will essentially um, sort of upgrade the unit. I think that would probably best be used um, for our machine guns on the beach or for our British Home Guard in the main bunker. So let's give it to the Vickers here. Advanced training, they've got a nice little promotion. And let's start trying to take out Jerry as quickly as possible. Now I think we've already opened up there um, the last turn. So we're gonna have to do it with the British Home Guard. I'm gonna actually uh, advance on a hunt just in case we open fire now. And I think I'll just stay put. Any other machine guns that we have that can fire? Uh, yes, we've got the beautiful Bren gun. Let's let them have it. And actually, I'll take a fire on this German engineer right here. Nice little ambushing shot. I hope they don't expect us to kill 40 units. I hope it's just 40 soldiers. Uh, but I guess time will tell. There we go. Not bad. We actually suppressed them. I was hoping we would totally knock them out. And I'm actually going to turn over here to fire the enemy engineer. Really trying to disable as many units as possible. Um, because if, if all of them storm us at once, you know, obviously they'll take over this area quite easily. Let's see if we have anyone else here. Got a British truck. But again, what I really need are the infantry to get over there to the beaches as quickly as possible. And we've also got some additional stuff back here. The Bofors, etc. I am going to bring the Bofors forward. Again, I don't know if it's actually going to be able to be used against the enemy infantry. But I'm pretty sure... The high explosive attack, etc. Um, we can use it. We'll also send a few more troops forward. No reason in keeping them back here. We might as well try to push forward as much as we can. Alright, I think we can end the turn there. Fingers crossed, of course. shooting, boys. I can't believe one of their units has actually retreated already. Uh, that being said, I am concerned about this guy getting way too close to the Vickers, so let's open up on him. And again, that Vickers is well trained, so yes, they did get a shot. They also suppressed the unit, uh, and let's also... Oh, it is 40 enemy units. That's insanity. That's insane. Let's see if we can do it. I mean, without air support, I don't even see how that's possible, but we're going to give it a good college try. Okay, I'm not leaving this building right now. But you know what? I'll go ahead and move the home guard into the bunker here. It's going, folks. Good to see you. All right, let's see how the Vickers performs. Oh, baby. We can definitely use the Vickers against the enemy. Let's prepare to fire. I don't think they'd be expecting this. Excuse me, the Bofors against the enemy. 
26 effective damage. I mean, this is a heavy, heavy gun. Mostly used for anti-air, but you can certainly use this against uh, infantry. Nice. Beautiful. Got a suppression there, but I still would like, obviously, um, to have a few more units up here in the front. The British Sticky Bomber, I don't really think he's going to be very effective against the unless the enemy sends in uh, vehicles. Let's get in here. Ooh, I may have moved out a little too far. Get up, boys. Get to the beach. This is not necessarily a beach voyage many would look forward to, I'll admit that. We've also got a six-pounder gun. Again, not going to be very useful unless the enemy gets quite far, and we can't even um, lose more than two victory points in this battle. So it's not like they're going to get all the way back here. If they do get all the way back here, we've already lost the fight, is the way I see it. So we might as well push forward. Onwards. I think we can end the turn there. Um, I feel pretty comfortable with this. Oh, we almost forgot to fire with this unit. Uh, these guys are awfully close, and they are scouts, but obviously I'm more concerned about German infantry. <laughs> scouts are never good. They're going to give away our position. Let's try and kill them. Boy, we made that decision really fast. And there's also some resupply options here. I guess we're going to eventually have to resupply, which suggests this is going to be a long fight. All right, let's end it. Reading on the enemy side, but I want to see how many squads we actually took out, which I don't think we Got our first vehicle approaching, guys, and it's targeting the Bofors. This is where we could actually use the sticky bomb. Uh, let's see if the Bofors can take it out. Armor piercing chance to hit 37, chance to penetrate 100. That's an easy kill. Oh, they got him. I hate those fast-moving targets. So we could bring this other Bofors forward to try and fire. I think that would be a little risky. What you gotta do, what you gotta do, baby. Oh, yes! A suppression hit. Not good enough, though, and he's gonna try to retreat. Oh, man, we almost had it. Now, if we actually run up on this guy, we could potentially take him out. Um, man, I don't think this is a smart idea, but I'm gonna push forward. Yeah, unlikely. We'll just go ahead and open fire. Or actually, we could fall back. Let's fall back. Change of plans. Sorry about that. To the men, at least. And, yeah, let's open up. Unfortunately, I don't believe that this thing's going to do any damage to their, um, their actual vehicle there. The SDKFC. So I'm going to open up on the German infantry that are only meters away here. And hopefully the Vickers cuts them down to size. They are suppressed. I think they're rethinking that move. Now, here's our sticky bomber. We'd love to give them closer, but it's just not, not safe. So instead, we're going to fire from here. The effectiveness of 12. The effectiveness would be better um, if they were actual troops and not just National Guard. Uh, but in this case, we get what we get, so we got to work with it. To get this guy right in that right in that building oh wait a minute he actually has a shot i didn't expect that all right british infantry and again zero enemy kills so i guess we really do have to wipe out entire enemy units uh, and that's easier said than done, man. That's that's not an easy feat at all. Like, not just singular units, but entire squads. Unless it's just counting it at the end of the battle, that, that could be the case. How's it going, Eric? Good to see you, man. Now, another thing we do is mount up that ET gun on top of that truck and drive it to the right side of the map 
It's obviously going to be a bit of a mission, but again, if they get all the way back here, we've already lost the battle. So I'm going to start driving. Oh, we've got an anti-tank rifle. Now that could actually come in very, very handy. But not quite right this second. Alright, let's see what they do here, guys. Eventually, they're going to break through that main bunker. It's going to be a hell of a push, but they'll, they'll make it happen. There we go. Nice little promotion for our ambush. Oh, they are walking right into our trap. So this is sort of the uh, D-Day reverse, guys, for anybody just joining us. Uh, essentially, the Germans are attacking the UK, um, and we need to stop that invasion in its tracks. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. And not a single bomber this entire mission. Not one. Alright, let's get these guys. Nice ambush shot. We still have to work on that marksmanship. Uh, however, we can finally get this unit in the building over here and contribute to that marksmanship. And once again, the effectiveness was 18 on these guys and 9 on these guys, and we still haven't gotten a single hit. Um, I'd still like to open fire on the SDKFC. That means ramming this thing out of the way. Getting awfully close to the enemy. Oh, way too close. Way too close. Shameful. Just shameful. First of all, what we should have done is this. Try and suppress them at least, and then move forward. With the British Home Guard, let's open fire on that. They actually do have 45% cover rating because of the tank traps. Um, I want to try to cut down our first unit. Come on. One more shot. One more shot. Come on. Okay, we routed them. I don't think that counts as a destroy, though. Two kills. So finally, we are getting some kills pop up. But we need the rest of the troops to make it to the front lines for sure. And I think for the most part, we want to be on that right side. Yeah, push for that main bunker doesn't look like they're paying too much attention to the left side, so maybe we can actually get on that left side and sort of move them over to the right. Oh, man. There we go. Good shot. Feel around. Yeah, what's going on here? The enemy is trying to get right up on these buildings, and they have suppressed one of our British Home Guard units uh, behind the sandbags here. That's not something I like to see at all. There's another one of those damn vehicles, the SDKFZ. I really want to drop this AT gun in the right place, but I feel like no matter where we drop it, it's going to be really very risky. Uh, here we could potentially be fired at, so let me actually open up on the enemy first. Suppression? Okay, that's a start. Wait a minute. Wow, he had to take quite a detour. Alright, so we'll worry about that gun next turn. It's actually somewhat easier for me. And since those guys are actually uh, currently um, sort of uh, pinned down, I'm actually going to fire at the German scout. Because I don't want them wiping out one of our... There we go. Retreating. Let's try to wipe... Out. Oh, come on, men. Main bunker can definitely do some serious damage here. How's it going, Robert Roberts? Let the Germans bring culture to Britain and the Empire together. They could rule the world. <laughs> I don't doubt that could happen. That was a possibility. I mean, it's not one of those alternative history ideas that's extremely crazy. It certainly could have occurred. Uh, let's see. I really want to try to get this sticky grenade guy closer. So I'm actually going to move him into this row of buildings. Oh, of course... Return fire there. Whoa! What just happened? Please, somebody explain that to me. Um, they actually hit one of our sticky bombs, and it exploded. Uh, I didn't even know you could do that in this game. That is that is awesome. That is really cool. 
Bren Why got one. We can get that second one. Just one lucky shot, and we're there. Victory. Oh boy. That guy's like hiding right behind one of the damn tank traps, you can tell. He's really well hidden. Uh, this sticky bomber, I'm not sure I want to use him up so quickly. So let me keep him behind the line. I didn't realize they were that easy to destroy. More home guard reinforcements. They won't be able to fire this turn, but next turn they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. So important to try to score a, just one kill on these guys. Man, should I move the British infantry up to get a better shot? I think not. I think not. Let's end the turn. No one down, but every time they move, they get closer to that main bunker. We should have certainly been using that drill sergeant ability um, a little bit more, just to sort of upgrade our troops. Get him, boys. These guys on the right side can't shoot worth a damn. Definitely needed the home guard uh, to stay in the training rounds a little bit longer. We really need one of our sticky bombers to come through here with an amazing move. Uh, and I'm not sure how we're going to do that. So we also have the AT gun. But man, the enemy could open fire at any moment. Deploy. Let's hope this was the right move. I really hope so. That two-pounder is facing away. I hope that's okay and that we don't have to reface it. Uh, but for now, we're going to have to target this guy right here. That 16, that's really not that good. Considering we only get one shot at the damn unit. So we need border boys here on the right side. Now again, if we lose the beachfront on the right side, that's only one victory point. We can still make it back. But it's going to be a lot harder, of course. Alright, go here to the main bunker building. And of course I want to go for the decorated unit. He's actually going to try to get away. He might succeed. Damn, that's a German flamethrower. He's right on top of us. We've got to get rid of him. Come on, he's suppressed. That's not good enough, but we can't fire again. We've got to focus on this enemy unit too. Actually managed to get a kill on one of them. And let's see if we can knock out the flamethrower. Come on. Oh man. Our boys shooting this this particular mission has been atrocious. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get them out of the building. I've gotta take the fight to the enemy right here. Come on. Man down! What to do, what to do. We take out the enemy machine gun. If we could get one more really long shot. Oh, that would have been great. Um, I think what I'll do here is we want to give a promotion to one of these troops, so we'll give a promotion to the unit right there. Give him the drill sergeant. Now, obviously, we should have done this before, but I didn't quite plan this right. And another thing we could do is we could actually rally this unit back. So despite being kind of damaged, we could hurt them. Now, the question is, can we attack that SCKFC? We do have these charges, but I don't know. Um, whatever, fingers crossed. Yeah, that was quite, quite a mad charge. <laughs> what we should have done is charge with the unit and then given them the boost. 
So let's see what else we can do here. If we have any other units that haven't moved yet. Ooh, I'm gonna have to go take the laundry out, folks. Give me a moment here. Can't stop playing. And unfortunately, that, that gun, I'm just not sure what's gonna happen with it. Probably nothing good. Um, hmm. there. You right back, folks. He says we shall never surrender. Thank you, Eric. Let's see this situation as it stands. Have they taken the bunker? No, she's safe. What about the right side? Getting awfully close. Now, the two-pounder, incredibly, is not damaged. So here's our chance, guys, to hit that thing and finally knock it out. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Target destroyed. We're starting a major return fire there at the two-pounder. The enemy might try to completely knock us out here. So again, these units are very leveled up and uh they've got some promotion and also we have some very good effectiveness fire nice knock them down first we can try and take out the whole damn unit and that's why we brought these reinforcements get them up here keep the fire going boys and this time we'll fire at the mg34 right here not the most effective chances of getting a hit but you know what I'm actually going to target, once again, the German MG-34. I just think it's so much more dangerous than the units approaching here. Uh, but as you can see, down. yeah, they just managed to suppress us. We're now going to have to take the fight out of the buildings to try and hold the bunker. We're under heavy fire. Let's move. Assault only 62%. I mean, this is what happens when we were using National Guard units. Just not as good of a chance to knock them out. Luckily, here we got 62, or 62 uh, effectiveness. Fire, firing right into the flank. Incredibly, though, they're not totally broken down yet. And, of course, I still want to keep a few of the British infantry uh, here in the buildings because they're going to be very good. The rest, not so much. We're, uh, we can't rally them this turn, but perhaps in next turn we can rally them. And these guys are going to be used to knock out that vehicle approaching on the left side. Uh, we can't forget we've got this Bren gun right here. I'm going to target the enemy uh, getting close to the main bunker. They are pretty far away, though, so maybe we should try to hit the German engineer right in front of us. No, he still survived. Uh, we'll target the approaching here. That flamethrower is going to be sort of bad news if he makes it to the bunker. Finally, man. We finally got him. That target took forever to destroy, though, and the German MG34 is still operational. Now, we knocked one of the guys out, which, are pretty, which is a pretty good shot, uh, but we didn't successfully kill him. 
I'm going to see if we can't get some more of our soldiers, some of the British infantry specifically. Hmm. You know what? We're going to move our sticky bomber. And that way, we can actually get this reinforcement into this building. Uh, as for the truck, kind of useless right now. We'll just get him out of here. I don't want him to become an enemy, you know, casualty, and then suddenly we've got something blocking the road. I think that's where we're going to have to end it, folks. Hello, Justin. Good to see you, buddy. Hello, ya mystic. Return your Saxon roots, says Robert Roberts. Okay, let's have a turn. Oh, boy. I told you it was going to be bad news. I told you. I told you. That think there was a serious problem. Did suppress them. I don't know how they didn't suppress the unit with the flamethrower, but they sure burned the hell out of our, out of our guys here. Eliminated. Yeah, boys. They still haven't taken the beach exit, but they're awfully close. Nice to find out there. We actually got a German unit to surrender. I think they realized they're being sent into an absolute uh, just death factory here. We are very prepared for them. The question is how great would it be if we get a shot all the way across? No way. What we have to do is get this anti-tank rifle. And try and get close enough to hit that vehicle. Yeah, it's way too far, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit for him to uh, get a bit closer. And I might fall back uh, with this unit. It's pretty risky to fall back, but I don't see the point of holding. Then again, if we can't make it to the building, yeah, no, really no point in falling back. Put the fire on that flamethrower. Boy's gotta go back to the damn practice range. It's just absurd. All right, here we go. Can actually get a shot at this guy, the German engineer trying to escape. The target I'm looking for. Beautiful, he's still retreating. There we go, target destroyed. And again, we only have seven kills. This is a really challenging uh, We've got to get 40 squads. It actually open up right here. Not a bomber unit, but it's actually our British infantry. We, sw we switched them last turn. Uh, I think I'll keep that British infantry there. That guy's going to stay there. Truck, you're fine. Yeah, that's going to be about all we can do, except, yes, we got the home guard unit right here. We've got to do something with them. They've come out this far. Only eight in effectiveness. You know what? Get back in the buildings, you fools. There we go. That's probably the safest place for them. And again, we still have return fire as well. Okay. Let's end the turn. Started. That was the last place we thought the enemy was really going to attack in force, but they definitely attacked in force. Ready. There goes that home guard unit. It's all up to the ambushers now, and now there looks like they're having Panzer IIs show up on the battlefield. We have limited stuff to deal with them. Uh, we do have that two-pounder gun. Excuse me. Yeah, the two-pounder gun, but we've got Germans right there. I feel like we almost need to charge into battle, but I'm not, here. I'm not leaving my position, and I'm just going to destroy them like this. We actually got quite a few hits on them, but it looks like it wasn't enough to wipe them out entirely. So I'm going to make a risky move um, and take the British engineers over here. Yes, Target beautiful. Eliminated. So actually, uh, he's going to be safe for another turn, which, believe it or not, is a pretty big deal. Um, we'll ignore the scout. We can deal with him later. But look at the rank that that unit has already. Just amazing. We can actually rally some troops. Um, let's see who deserves the rally. I think it's going to be these boys. 
Not to mention, let's get them a drill sergeant in there to really push them. I was kind of hoping for a better result. Um, but we still got our Vickers. He's now operational again. Maybe we should have given him the promotion. Nonetheless, we got a flanking shot on the enemy there. Look at that. Immediate retreat. They're also suppressed. Now, again, I'm still mo most afraid of the German flamethrower, so that's what I'm shooting at. Yes! Run. Now, why don't the German flamethrowers explode the way that our sticky bombers explode? There we Target go! Eliminated. Amazing, guys. All right, now our boys are starting to uh, hit their marks, hit their targets. So I see no point to move them. I think that would be kind of silly. Uh, but I do want to get close enough to target the SDKFC, and that means i got to move up with the anti-tank rifle. So I'm going to target the closest unit, and really just try to bait that enemy vehicle to move forward, sort of show them that to take this area, they're going to have to move forward with uh, heavier equipment, and hopefully trick them into an attack. We'll also move this guy across the street. And we'll get the British Home Guard in this building just a little bit closer to the front. Uh, as for the British Infantry. Good shooting, boys. One more, and we got another unit. By the way, guys, just take a Target look at the eliminated. beach right now. I think we've done an amazing job. You can see all the dead Germans uh, all over the place here. They are littering the beach. So we've done an okay job so far. Of course, they've taken that left bunker. Can we hold it to the end? That's the real question. All right, let's hope that they walk right into the two-pounder gun. A shooting boy. And a promotion for the Vicar in the middle. Scratch run. Maybe a Victoria Cross as well. Incredible job. Really, really uneasy. Three, four of them now. They're all over the damn place. Okay, here we go. It's your time to shine, anti-tank rifle. Here's what we're gonna do. Get the Bren over here. Open fire on that German infantry. Try and keep them focused here on the Bren gun. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, guys. Wish these boys luck, because this is going to be the shot of the game. Actually, there's a lot more enemy vehicles we have to deal with, but obviously this is almost like an essential kill here. So we've got a 27% chance of a hit, 41% chance of penetration. The reason is because the, the actual enemy targets moved, so there's a target agility penalty. Oh! Yes! Good work, boys! We got it. We got it. One less vehicle to worry about. Of course, we still have plenty to worry about here. And I'm trying to get an eye on where my sticky bombers are. So there's one right here. We got to wait for the enemy to get a bit closer. And the two-pounder is still out of range of most of the enemy troops. Um, now, as for this guy here, the British engineer, I mean, he's so... Actually, I think he might be able to attack tank units, but uh, he's so strong here, I really don't know if I want to risk him firing at the enemy, but actually we can take a sniper shot here due to our rank. Let's do that. <laughs> Target destroyed. Although I didn't realize that that means we have to stay uh, in our position. Uh, I still think it was worth it. If not just for the cool factor. It's my grandfather, says Ya Mystic. <laughs> hey, Icon Rostov. Yes, it is a beach, my friend. See, we actually, if we look back here, we can see the landing craft. Um, it's the reverse reverse D-Day, basically, Rostov. It's, uh, it's if the Germans attacked uh, the UK. Uh, where do we want to direct this fire? I see no better real enemy than that one. Maybe the flamethrower. Maybe the flamethrower would have been a better option, actually, for both shots. Um, and we'll end the turn. I'm not sure how we're going to deal with the impending... Uh, Let's figure something out. 
Good shooting, boys. Eliminated. And a promotion. Now they actually managed to knock out one of our uh, infantry in this building. Before, but they are returning fire and destroying targets on mass. Look at that damn tank, man. Where's the RAF? These bombers, like right now, just just completely drop the entire payload on this beach. Oh wow. Not intentional, but now that we've gotten ourselves in this in this mess, we might as well go ahead and make the best of it. Come on! Oh, are you kidding me? All right, guys. Time for the anti-tank rifle to get another shot. Now we can boost this guy, and I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, are we able to boost him a second time? Maybe not. Okay, so maybe it's only a one-time boost. Uh, let's see how many men are here. Five and five, but only one and two in our Bren gun. I think we're actually... Yeah, I'm not sure I want to waste a drill sergeant on just one gun. I think that would be a, maybe a mistake. Hmm. Sorry, Mr. Bren. It's a pretty decorated German unit. There we go. One of them down, and we did suppress the target. All right, guys. Wish us the best of luck here. 33 chance to hit. Zero chance to penetrate. That's not good. Zero chance to penetrate once again. Does this mean we have to get the hell out of here? Yeah, I think it does. We're going to move back with the uh, AT rifle. And let's hope that the British Home Guards uh, can get close enough to the enemy to do some damage to the vehicles. Because it's looking bad. <laughs> Good shot. Eliminated. And as for the enemy infantry, we've done an amazing job at keeping off the, off the beach so far, but we haven't done the same for the enemy vehicles. And now I'm thinking we might have to actually bring this truck back up, get that gun back on the truck, and move him closer to the front of the battlefield. In fact, maybe we can get him on board right now. Let's do it. Yeah, there's no point in keeping him there. And even putting this thing out on the battlefield is a risk. Come on, pressure on the enemy infantry. They're getting very lucky here. Uh, with the advanced infantry, I'll actually go ahead and take a shot, sniper shot, just because it's a sure kill. And there's one of our bombers, one of our sticky bombers. All right, let's put him like. No, we keep, we've got to keep him. We've got to keep him in the buildings. The British infantry's taking that building. Damn sticky bummer. All right, um, I'll put him over here. So I'm really hoping the enemy will come through here, but with the destroyed Bofors, they might actually decide to take another route entirely. Oh, we've got that machine gun still. All right, the Vickers is once again firing. That infantry is almost destroyed, but this one is still a threat. Good shot. He's suppressed. Why not? We'll open up on another unit. In fact, we'll try to knock out that German infantry. I think that might have been an effectiveness of zero. No, it's 20. Thank goodness. We can still get a shot. Right. And again, I'll keep the rest of the boys here. He gets close enough for us to use uh, our satchel charges. Additional Stretcher! combat troops here. These are SS troops against uh, British Paras and Home Guard units. So obviously a pretty crazy situation. Reinforcements have arrived! I thought that would never happen. And sure enough, we've got some armored cars, guys. Not as good as the, uh, the Panzer IIs that the enemy have. But they might be able to make a difference. Might being the key word here. And I think we might have a howitzer. Hold on. Let's see. 
It's a four inch gun, okay. Now it's a four inch lorry, so I guess this is a gun we can move around. Uh, also it makes it a little easier to kill though. Um, not necessarily in terms of movement, but it's pretty easy to hey, knock out these vehicles alive. and it's broken down. Are you kidding me? You guys saw that, didn't you? It broken down <laughs> for I think a turn. That is the worst of luck we could have had, but let's keep on moving to the beach with the rest of our units. And I think this is standard British infantry. Yeah, it is. So it's not just home guard. These are troops that know what they're doing. Maybe the whole point of this mission is we have to end up retaking that beach area. We'll, we'll wait and see. And one Bren carrier. It's the best you could do for us. Come on, guys. Now, do we risk these guys' lives? They are engineers. I do think they could potentially do damage to that vehicle. I know these guys could. Oh, give me that return fire. Hold on, sticky bombers. Hold on. I didn't think this was actually going to work. Okay, it hasn't yet. Let's fire again. Nope. No, no, no. What an embarrassing uh, situation for the sticky bombers. However, we got some good news here. Our engineers... They're going to destroy that particular uh, vehicle. And we might be able to do the same over here with the Home Guard. Although I don't think the Home Guard are equipped with anti-tank uh, weaponry. But let's see. 20% for that assault to work. Very unlikely. So I'm guessing in these assaults, they're literally like actually jumping on top of the damn vehicle. And trying to take it down that way. Alright. Did an okay job though. Better than I expected. It's definitely not what Flamethrower getting close to this bunker. All fire goes to the flamethrower. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to give away the position of any more of our units. Here we go. Anti-tank rifle, it's your chance to shine. CKFC. Maybe not easily. I spoke too soon. But easier to, than knock, to knock out the K SDKFC than the actual uh, enemy tanks. Where are you running to? Come back. There we go. Unfortunately, we attracted the attention of the enemy uh, vehicle, and that's the first unit they actually managed to destroy here. Gotta give it to them. Even return fire. I would not want to be a German infantryman on this uh, particular patch of beach. That's right, we've got the ET gun, guys. We're going to deploy, but it's a risky move. Okay, here we go. Oh, boy. We better hope that this guy gets a nice shot next turn and doesn't get completely overrun by the enemy this turn. Yeah, I'm not even going to give our position away. Skin, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you guys. Got quite a few viewers here on the Battle Academy stream. Nice. Very, very glad to see that. We actually fired around there, and we actually got one of the enemy units, one of the Boomas, retreating. Which is amazing, uh, just because they've got flanked by a single, uh, uh, looks like a, um, a sticky grenade, I believe, that flanked off. Doesn't make much sense, but it happened nonetheless. Good shooting, boys. I really want to kill that guy. Um, for now, obviously, target the enemy infantry. I don't want them returning fire on our men as we're trying to reach those tanks. And since they're ranked up, we can fire three times, which I think is amazing. Now, what about getting close to these guys? I think only our, um, maybe our British infantry, but certainly our engineers can hit the enemy vehicles. I'm not sure our British infantry can. 
just not sure. Now, the anti-tank rifle is not in a good state. Um, they've lost one of their boys and they're terrified. I'm gonna rally them up. We really need them right now. Chance to penetrate is very low, though. I'm still gonna take the shot. There are miracles, but they rarely happen in, in Battle Academy. Deflected, yeah. We could have potentially scared him. Um, I'm gonna move up. Okay, now our two-pounder can fire, and it looks like we can actually hit these Panzer twos. Oh, come on, son. You've got to do better than that. There we go. One Panzer two down. It's a promising start. Let's get our poor um, truck the hell out of here. And that home guard unit is almost utterly destroyed. I'm actually going to move him out. Since these British infantry are right there on the front, we'll go ahead and give them the drill sergeant. Nice little promotion. And sure enough, we force the enemy to retreat. Now, you know, if we want to damage, obviously, the tanks, we're going to have to get closer, but Rome wasn't built in a day. Um, I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm not running out on the, on the beach. It's just not a good idea. We've already got a few guys out there, and they're not in the best situation. Let's put it that way. Uh, in fact, I'll take this British Home Guard unit start moving back to the center of town. Oh, shit. I forgot to move uh, these other units. The armored car It's going to give the unit an extra turn to the area. But it'll make this a little more of a challenge. destroyed, but still getting shots and aiming all of them towards the approaching tanks. The first thing right here is uh, starting with those uh, reinforcements forward. Look at that line of Germans. And they have suppressed our gun. That is the worst thing that could have happened. Um, we're not going to be able to rally him up for a turn, so that's that's a lot of time lost. All right, let's see if our armored car, our armored car, not cars now, we got bombed, can do anything here. And of course, we want to bring up the infantry. Some of them did survive the shot. Uh, obviously, not all of them. We still have a few guys here that survived. It looks like they took out one truck with infantry that survived and uh, one of our armored cars. And those armored cars are the differences between life and death right now. question is, can our boys actually launch assaults on the enemy tanks? I don't know. I'm actually going to use my sniper shot here. Again, we know that we're going to get a kill with that, so we'll take it. Same here. And a unit destroyed. They still have not managed to take out our machine gun. Uh, let's let's hit this unit. Nice suppression. And oh yes, the four-inch lorry. So um, apparently he's not break broken down anymore. I guess the breakdown only lasts one turn, and then pretty much you can get the unit back. As for this guy, yeah, he's pretty badly damaged. I don't think he's going to be doing much for us. Uh, we still have a sticky bomber, though. We still have a sticky bomber. Let's put the sticky bomber over here in this building. Oh, no. You gotta move back, son. You're, you're gonna be in a bit of trouble here. Let's end the turn. Scratch one. Target destroyed. Uh, it wasn't infantry target, but I don't mind. I think it's a good shot. Incredibly, our two-pounder is still returning fire. They have hit it with so many rounds. Um, he still returned fire. And we actually have an enemy SDKFC with units in it. Now, of course, he is still pinned. 
Um, but it's amazing that he survived this. Now, if we could hit that thing, we would have destroyed or potentially destroyed all of the units inside. Now, I'm going to have to send the Sticky Bomber forward. I realize that. Unfortunately, with, those all, with all those tanks there, it's just not safe. So let's pull the Sticky Bomber back. We can potentially head out a little bit later in the battle. But we need to wait for the enemy to make a move here. Now, here's our first armored car. How are they going to deal with the enemy? Chance to hit 50%. No chance to penetrate at all. As for the SDKFC, we can definitely destroy it. So let's hit it. It's suppressed and retreating. But as you can see, we're taking shots from the Panzer II, which can definitely kill us. Uh, we can't pen the Panzer II. So we really just have to hope that we can knock out some of these SDKFCs. There's a decent shot. And I'm going to get immediately out of here. Because again, the Panzer II can, can definitely kill us. How could you get any more German soldiers to keep on moving through this battle? <laughs> this whole battle is unnecessary. Britain and Germany could be invading France. <laughs> Says Robert Roberts. Yikes, those reinforcements, Sistian. Yes, 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 yes. It's brutal fighting out here. This is mission two, by the way, in the Sea Lion campaign. If you guys want to see our other mission, just type it. Type in uh, Operation Sea Lion, Agrippa Maxenius on YouTube. And you can see the first part to this actual fight. Bailing out! No! We knew that was going to happen eventually, but they put up a hell of a fight. Well done. Enemy AI is actually smart enough to know that they shouldn't move their vehicles any closer. Because um, if, if they do, we can easily lob grenades from the windows and potentially knock out their vehicles. So they're really trying to get the job done here with just the infantry alone. And I guess I can respect them for it. Five turns remaining. And we still haven't gotten to our 40 kill uh, mark. So we're going to try to reach it. Surrendered. I think that counts. Bullet just got up and looked around like, what the hell was that sound? Nice. And yeah, of course, one of the enemy tanks has made it right there. I wonder if we move up right in front of them, if we can get a kill. No, of course not. I was getting desperate. What can I say? Um, yeah, let's move these guys over here. <sighs> Not well, so have to keep building to make that, or to execute that move. We have no, we have no choice. We've got to try and get into that, um, other building. Just to try and, and defend this area a little bit more. Send the home guard this way. But in this particular area, we're not putting up a good enough fight um, to kill uh, enough enemy units. All right, come on, boys. From there, come on. All right, let's get our boys out. It's about time anyway. Got a home guard. It's not, that's not the guy we just let out. There he is. Uh, the British infantry. And again, the enemy's got to be right up close and personal if we want to get a hit on him. Uh, in the meantime, though, what I will do is I'm actually going to boost that British infantry. So let me go ahead and give him the drill sergeant. I think he's taken all of his shots. He had two reactionary shots already. Yeah, he still got my vehicle, but thankfully my men survived. I still thought, I, I thought those were all the shots he could take, his two reaction shots. Maybe he can take three, maybe his rank is better, or maybe um, in terms of reactionary shots he had unlimited or, or slightly more. I'm not sure what, how the rules apply there. Orange glory. And I think we've done everything we can there. It actually looks like most of the action is on the left. Not really any more enemy infantry that we're dealing with. Good shot. You know what? 
you only live once. But then again, no, uh, I would have only done this if this unit was right there because we could have thrown a sticky at him. Um, I'm gonna keep our poor sticky grenade right where, right where he is. Send the turn. Okay, a little bit of return fire from our men. And we just destroyed one of the Panzer twos. We didn't think it could be done, but sure enough, once they move into the town, they have a serious problem. And I think anybody that knows anything about, uh, especially modern combat, if you're going to your town with tanks uh, and no infantry support, your tanks are going to be destroyed. It's just pretty much par for the course. So hopefully that's exactly what will happen. We still hold um, most of the victory positions. As long as we don't lose more than two, uh, or actually if we don't lose more than three, um, then we're going to be fine. You can lose two, can't lose three. Stretcher! Look at just that wave of Germans. Okay, I'm right, Sharp Sutsen. Really want to retake that area, but uh, I know better. Stay right here. We don't want to give the enemy a chance or an excuse to fire for any reason. Unless we're firing at them. Scratch one. At 30 kills, guys. So I'm not sure if we uh, if we accomplish the mission necessarily. Gonna have to move these guys out but then again if we move them out they're in the open let's move them over here at least yeah here we can still fire on that infantry only four in terms of effectiveness that's really bad Stay there, boy. We've got you. Here we go. Fire armor piercing. This is what he gets for firing at our friend. Deflected, come on! There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Nice little kill. And with this British infantry, I don't believe we have another attack. That's right, we use these up. Otherwise, we could have gone for that Panzer II right there. Will that Panzer serve as a roadblock? Yeah, I think it will. I think it will. Um, they have to knock it out. So uh, I'll try to find a vehicle here. Well, we don't have it. Well, actually, we do have a vehicle back here. What am I talking about? So, like, you see, you see that um, that thing right there, Skin, where the red button on the far right side? Um, you have to use up one turn to destroy a vehicle um, to pretty much knock it out of the way. So they're going to be forced to do that. Yeah, definitely. And, in fact, we're going to get our Bren carrier up here. We're going to dismount this unit in this building, and hopefully we can end up retaking that area. Oh, this is a mortar! I didn't even know you could have mortars in this game. That may have been the first mortar uh, that I've ever had. So I'm actually going to drop him right here, and hopefully next turn we can start lobbing mortars over at the enemy. How great would that be? Still got the sticky bomber. Yeah, I'm staying put with him, man. There's really just not much we can do. He's such a useful unit in this battle, but only if the enemy gets closer. If they keep their distance, no luck. Grenades did not fall into the SDKFC's hatch as we planned. <laughs> that could have been a nice little shot there. Stretcher! I'm like going straight to the mortar. I want to see what he can do. So, oh my goodness. Now, I highly doubt a mortar can take out uh, vehicles, right? Highly, highly doubt it. Um, 
so I'm gonna fire at that infantry unit. Oh, I like that. Oh, that is really cool. How many shots do we get? Okay, so I guess it's just one shot. One lucky shot. We're really just trying to get the um, the kill count up, so we're really quite desperate in this situation. Um, I almost want to bring the Bren up to fire. Oh, nice! We got one shot. Beautiful target destroyed. I'm gonna take the beach back. Now here is the catch: um, is that it is a roadblock for other vehicles. I should have mentioned this, but not for enemy infantry. If that makes sense, enemy infantry can still get in here, but their vehicles cannot. got almost nothing here. I think we've got to send the, uh, the sticky guys through. The sticky guys. Um, I don't think we have much of a choice. We'll keep them there. Machine gun is still operational. Only at 8 effectiveness, though, and I'm guessing it's because of all the damn armor in the way. Right, bring it up. Bring it up, lad. And the same applies to us, which means we're gonna have to knock this ugly thing out of the way. All right, this is a chance. Um, our British infantry, only one in five. His assault actually has a 70% chance of succeeding, which just shows you how badass this guy is. Uh, let's do it, baby. Oh, you could have been a war hero. Nonetheless, um, I thought that was hilarious. Uh, yeah, we're not going to send the British Home Guard out there. Nice shot, boys. Oh, I thought for sure that would be a kill. Looks like they're going to be able to retreat. Sneaky bastards. Just realized if we didn't stick this damn Brennan here, we could have used it to knock that, uh, that enemy wreck out of the way. Shots, boys. Here we go. Throw those grenades. Yes! Oh, finally. They walked right into our sticky bombers. Absolutely a beautiful sight. How possible to, does anybody even care what the Operation Sea Lion was? I mean, assuming everything went perfectly for the Germans. You know, assuming, right? Not that they took Moscow, but that they did much better in the East. They were close to Moscow. Do you really think they could have launched an offensive Ready? on England? Uh, I don't think so. I think it would have failed completely miserably. We're pinned down. That central bunker remains to the end, boys. To the end. Two turns remaining here. 33 kills. I don't think we're going to get it. We're still going to try, of course. Don't worry. My goodness. They completely destroyed him. Um, this British infantry. Oh, so damn close. To don't shoot. Nope. I can't help myself. They're directly in front of me. The effectiveness is at 15, which is right now quite good. Uh, since we've got all of the armor around. In terms of victory points, I think we're going to win. But in terms of uh, enemies destroyed, we're not going to get the max amount, which, uh, which will mean a loss... Almost certainly. Texas Spirit! How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, man. Javier! Why don't you wait for the German armor to get into town, then ambush with sticky bombers? That's That was kind of our plan earlier. 
Um, but since this is the first time we played this mission, we, we kind of got a little risky here in the front lines. But that's why you see all these wrecks here, especially this one. That was a sticky bomber all the way. Um, but yeah, had we known exactly what was going to happen in this mission, we could have set up a lot better. Um, and probably they would have never gotten past this particular point. Because uh, we would have put the gun here, we would have put the Bofors over here, maybe another Bofors in this central area, and just held them off. Yeah, where is the RAF? I actually said that exact quote earlier, Javier. <laughs> it's hilarious you said that. It's like, the RAF in this mission would be so perfect. Just a nice bombing run right down the beach here, and we would have a, a mission victory, of course. But they finally managed to knock out that machine gun. Those guys absolutely deserve a medal post-mortem. Uh, but, man, they, they killed so many Germans. We'll take a look here, um, if we're not at the last turn. Just take a look at the massive casualties the enemy had. Of course, we are going to get the casualties at the end of the mission anyway, but this is just impressive. Uh, one turn remaining. Look at these Germans. Look at this. All mostly around that central bunker. That central bunker right there was just pretty much our strongest point um, against enemy infantry. We even got enemies here. A few of our boys, of course, fall in there in front of the buildings, uh, but I think altogether, man, we put up a good fight. Not good enough, though. Not good enough. Or maybe good enough. We'll, we'll wait and see. We're going to have to take a risk with this assault. Now, here's what I can do, I think. Um, I might be able to give them another boost. Nope. You're going to have to just wing it, boys. Best of luck. Attack repulse. And again, we have to do this because we're on the last turn. we got to get up to that 40 kills. So this is our best chance uh, at trying to get it. At this point, it's almost Soviet tactics, but we're trying to save our country. Nope, not good enough. We're not going to be able to go for the attack with the British Home Infantry. Let's go back. <laughs> Thought they might have some uh, anti-tank units, but unfortunately for them, no. Let's get in the Bren gun. Take the mortar here and... It's almost a total kill. Sunny Tata! Medic German. We're under heavy fire. We actually managed to get one more target, which is pretty cool. But again, only 34, unfortunately, um, out of what we were supposed to get, which is 40 targets. And when they say targets, they mean like entire squads, which is incredible. Awesome, man. Yeah, me too. I really do have to start putting a schedule up, but I've just, it's been one thing I haven't done. I mean, honestly, um, if I have to be completely, you know, straightforward with you guys, um, I've been playing strategy games on this channel for six years now, and uh, I'm a little burnt out. Like, I'm a little burnt out. I'm a little kind of running out of ideas, which scares me, because usually I'm pretty good at coming up with like, oh, here's an idea that'll be interesting, but I just feel like we're doing a lot of World War II stuff. Um, it's, uh, it's just getting a little, like, a little boring for me, at least. Uh, maybe for you guys, too. If anybody has any new ideas, anything they think we should be looking at, then let me know. It seems that Gary Grigsby's War in the East did pretty well um, in terms of a series, so maybe we can do some more games like that, like slightly more technical strategy. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of not sure. I'm not really sure. I'm definitely like pretty bored of close combat. Uh, I can't wait for the new close combat to come out, but at least for the old ones, like I, I, th I feel like I've played the game to death. Um, it's just kind of gotten to that point. Um, same with Gravity Team Tactics. I'm pretty bored. Like, unless they come out with a new DLC where they go into, like, a future war or, you know, focus on some other conflicts, even pre-World War II is fine. Like, imagine Gravity Team Tactics, Sp Spanish Civil War, how amazing that would be. Uh, but I just feel like, you know, things have just been too, too much the same. Uh, and the mainstream stuff that I have been, like, really interested in, um, like Planetfall, unfortunately, it seems like the channel has universally rejected that. With the exception of Icon Rosso. He likes to stop by. He's like the only guy that stops by my Twitch Planetfall streams, which I really appreciate him for. Um, 
so, you know, even though I'm kind of into it, I understand you guys aren't, so it's not going to do well on the channel. Uh, JRPGs, Japanese role-playing games, God, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm willing to try just about anything, but I'm not sure our, our strategy-minded audience, which, let's be honest, I think the people on this channel are older um, than most gamers. Um, so, so pr I'm guessing most of you are in probably the 25 to 40 age range. Uh, I'm not sure that's they're going to do well with that. The Germans have broken through retreat. Well, we did do our best. Apparently, reinforcements arrived at the very end of the battle. Wh what? Why would that happen? <laughs> Wait, why would that? So maybe, you know what? I was thinking another thing in this particular battle is maybe we have to let the enemy through. Um, because why else would we get reinforcements in that particular area? Like Maybe we have to let the enemy through, retake the buildings, and force them to keep going. Seems like just a, a, a really difficult mission. Let's take a look here. I'm old and decrepit, says Robert Roberts. I only show for the saltiness in the loot boxes. <laughs> Thank you, Stin. That's very kind of you, man. Yeah, like, actually, Life of the Legionary looks great. I'd love to try that game. I haven't fired over a message to the developers. Um, another game that I really wanted to get on Steam um, was, um, what's it called? Iltu Sturmovic Battle of Stalingrad. The problem is, even with this sale right now, I'm only getting paid on the 28th. I think the sale is going to the 29th. Think, keep your fingers crossed. Um, and what I wanted to do is, with Tortuga Power and Wolfpack, is do a sort of three-man cooperative campaign in uh, Iltu Sturmovic. But again, it's uh, it's really up in the air. I don't know if that's going to happen. Valiant effort. How about a Total War fit campaign, says Javier? I don't know. I, I, I really wanted to do um, Total War Three Kingdoms. I think it's a great game. Uh, one of the best Total War games that's come out in a long time. But we uploaded a video of it, and it, I guess it was like kind of a mixed review. It's like we didn't really get that many views on it, but the people that watched it gave it a like. So putting... Um, how can I explain this? Like putting hours and hours and hours into... You know, playing a campaign, recording it, etc. I'm not sure if it's worth doing that if we're not going to get like a nice amount of viewers uh, for that particular game. You know what I mean? For some games, I don't mind doing that. Like for Gary Grigsby's War in the East, we always get over 200 views per video or pretty close. Um, so it's not a problem. Historical battles. How do you mean, Spokal Up? Oh, I see what you mean. That's a good idea, actually, man. I like that one. So sort of the historical battles as opposed to doing an entire campaign. And I think that that is a great idea because I'll be honest with you guys, um, and you guys know this, those of you that have been with the channel a long time, I'm terrible at finishing campaigns. Now, I have I have recently really tried to finish the campaigns uh, with the exception of Planet Falcon because nobody's watching, but, you know, with Gary Grigsby, etc., uh, so that might be a better alternative. I like that idea, man. Maybe some historical battles. Maybe we could download some mods for Total War um, and get some like really interesting battles. I know there's a World War One, uh, World War One mod for Napoleon Total War that just got updated. Um, if I can figure out how to download it, I would definitely do some battles for that. I love being the British commander. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Thank you so much, guys, for stopping by, and I hope you, you guys don't mind me venting uh, occasionally. I'll probably do a channel update video to sort of, you know, be more straightforward with the rest of the audience. I just haven't really found a reason to do that recently. Um, but, yeah, man, I really want to find something that I'm really interested in, sort of a game that just fascinates me, and hopefully that will happen soon. Uh, the battles that are pre-custom so you can play for Cane and Rome 2 or Austerlitz. I like this idea a lot, Spoke Lope. I think in terms of, like, doing Total War, that's probably our best chance. Um, I'm not sure if Three Kingdoms has a historical battle section. I don't think it does. But I could maybe do, like, skirmish battles and name them after, you know, ancient Chinese battles. Uh, maybe even, like, try and build the units to recreate those battles. Oh, nice skin. Yeah, that, that's the one. That's the one I was talking about. They just recently updated it. The Great War mod for um, Napoleon Total War. Man, if... I mean... Honestly, I'm just terrible at installing mods. Uh, if somebody in the Discord even wants to wants to you know throw me some instructions on how to do it, like just throw it in the general chat, um, I will do it, man. And I would love to play the uh, the World War One mod for uh, Napoleon. That would be fun. Maybe we'll even do a Napoleon campaign pretty soon. But I think I would make that like a live exclusive, uh, and maybe one of the shorter Napoleon campaigns just to see if people still want to watch Napoleon Total War. 
Yeah, Icon Rostov, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Um, 150,000 <laughs> percent. I know that's not possible, but you're still that much. You're so right on that. Um, I'm just number one. I'm, I'm a lazy bastard. Number two, I suck at modding the games. I suck at adding the mods to the games. I get easily frustrated. Um, so honestly, like if anybody wants me to play a modded game, if you just go to the Discord server and just drop instructions like Agrippa to play the modded game, do this, this, and this. Uh, you know, like just simple instructions i will absolutely follow through on on most of those requests now obviously if it's a mod i'm not really interested in i'm, I'm probably not going to mess with it uh but if you do that I, I will definitely play more modded games and i do think that that is definitely a good idea uh um most of a for sure took me literally weeks to install it see i'm not the only one that makes me feel a little bit better i'm not the only one i've had that same thing where there was this awesome um english civil war mod for for um medieval total war 2 that i would play all the time and then i switched pcs and i tried to reinstall it and i couldn't and i was just so so pissed off anyway guys i could talk forever about this issue but thank you so much for listening and uh, i'll make sure to stop by later yeah i saw that icon rust of but it looks like it's in a very uh early early state right now it looks more of a like a something you'd see in a uh a carnival or what are they, like the weird people you see at a carnival like the turtle lady and stuff like that. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> Not like an actual mod, just something to like gawk at and be like, oh my God, tanks in Rome, what? <laughs> All right, guys, take care. I'll catch you on the next one.